Thanks to the victory at Nagyar, our forces have pushed the enemy back to the border. The Imperials are currently holed up in the Citadel at Girlandio. Girlandio. A crucial checkpoint along the commerce routes tying Gallia to the east since medieval times, the pass at Girlandio had been fortified for ages. The existing structure was rebuilt as a modern fortress during the First European War, and its grounds were littered with the casualties of war. In the current war, it housed the Empire's command center, and now it stood as their final stronghold. What's our strategy for attacking the Citadel, Captain? Hmm. I still haven't received any details on our orders from above yet. Oh, stop your worrying, Varat! I came here myself to give you your orders! General Damon? I'm honored, but why not just send a messenger? Your regiment really showed him up out there at Nagyar! In return, I'm granting you the honor of assaulting the Citadel at the van of the army. Sir? Here are your orders. There's a supply line running into the Citadel. We're sending a train car loaded down with explosives along it to blow us an entrance. The militia will run along the track ahead of it, flipping the right rail switches. Flipping rail switches, sir? This while dodging a hailstorm of bullets? That sounds like a suicide mission, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the perfect challenge for your fearless crew. If we succeed here, the Empire will finally be forced out of Gallia for good. You'll pave the way for the real army. You got that, Farat? <sighs> Damn it. Another mission they don't have the guts to do themselves. Maybe, but it's a mission that somebody still needs to do. Precisely. As the General said, if we win, the Empire will be driven out of Gallia. Let this be our final battle. I'll await good news from the field. Dismissed. this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Gallian sniper rifle. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Gallian force. So any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It... Tell me, Chris. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzin checked out the rifle. What? Faldio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle, so the clerk remembered it. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanzin and has yet to be. Can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Baldio. It couldn't be. Hey, Faldio. You in? I guess not. on the Valkyrian race, the anthropology of the Valkyra. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? The 
senses his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I had never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the darks and calamity, and how their actions forever scorch the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyrie invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous darks and people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land, burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrie became godlike saviors. The victors simply rewrote the history books. The Barius ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. We Yet at the same time, I can't help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrie stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined Ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrie of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly, their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyria's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt, hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. Valdio! Hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Valdio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verrat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. I'm only going to ask you this once. 
Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. <laughs> Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. That's enough. Listen to each other. You may both be right. But still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Gallian military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. 24 hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. incident grows old and stale. Silvaria, what news have you from the front? Sire, they seek to push our soldiers past the border, and the total of their forces approach those of our own. I see. The advantage now begins to sway towards the other side. It seems the loss at Nagyar has ended our hopes of strolling through the gates of Rondkrees. The fault lies with me. This would be over, had I but won at Nagyar. Your grace, grant me another chance, I beg you. Please allow me to fight for your glory, sire. <laughs> Dear Silvaria, do you truly wish to be of help? Yes, more than anything. From the time you saved me, Your Grace, I've... known... that I love you more than I do my own life. Sire, I want to work in the service of your dreams. Very well. So, Silvaria, you report that the strength of our opponent now matches our own. case. Let the fire of destruction rain down upon them. Use the final flame of the Valkyria. But... Your grace! The hour of your death shall mark the inauguration of our rule. Farewell, Silvaria. Can't say I'm impressed, Your Grace. Making a lady cry? This is simply one of a number of scenarios we'd planned for since before Nagyar. If her prowess as a Valkyria is insufficient, Selvaria's uses quickly narrow to one alone. 
Anyway, there's a messenger here for you straight from Castle Randgris. So there is. Let him wait. I have no time for simple messengers now. We are set to commence Operation Steel Sign. Jaeger, prepare to return back east. What? Then it's... the Marmota's finished? It is. Word has come that it has completed its trial run. The Galleons are hasty to assume victory. We shall see them gutted yet. Sorry. Is everybody here? No. Still no Alicia, boss. Right. Well, let's start. I already heard from another squad. We're prepping some tracks for a bomb. That's right. It's a rough one. But this is a critical mission. Ah, this is the militia. We're used to getting all the bum missions by now. With that settled, there's one question I gotta ask you, boss. Alicia's Valkyria powers and all. Do you plan to use those this time, too? No, Margo, of course I don't. I have faith in your natural abilities. Who needs Valkyra when I've got you all? Good answer. I'd expect no less from you, boss. We're ready for anything out there. After all, this could very well be it. Yeah, we're fine. You go be with Alicia, boss. She needs you real bad right now. All right. You all know what you're doing. But does he? This is a tough one. Even for Nature Boy. Having Alicia and the boss moping around is a drag for the whole squad. I hope for everyone's sake they can pull out of this funk real soon. Alicia, there you are. What's up? Look at this, Welkin. Guess what? I found some lion's paw growing while I was out on my walk. There you go. Very sharp. Makes you look like a real gentleman. Uh, well, thank you. Welkin. They said it was Faldio. Is it true? Afraid so. Then when I... When I walked through camp before... Some of them got down on their knees, like they were worshipping me. Praise the Valkyria. A godchild. They... They were... begging me to save Galia. Me. I mean... What am I supposed to say to that? Alicia, I... What kind of life can... can I live from now on? I wish I knew. <sighs> wow, I'm sorry. Guess that was pretty heavy. Here we are, right before the last battle, and I'm not helping things one little bit. Don't worry about me. Sergeant Alicia Melkiot, sir. Reporting. And ready for duty. My mind is focused on the mission. See you later, boss. Alicia. All right, we're going to call this an episode. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Here is your mission brief. The enemy is braced and waiting for our attack on the Citadel at Gerlandio. Before we can storm the place, we need to pry off the lid. We'll blow in the front gates. The plan, as it stands, is to roll a car loaded with explosives up to the gate and detonate it. 
Your objective is to trip the three switches located along the rail. The switches' location are as you see here. You'll just have to push your way forward and hit each one in turn as you go. To activate each switch, approach it in action mode and press the X button. Nice and easy. They'll be bearing down on you with the Citadel's cannons, among other things. I also advise you to watch for mines. It's time to put everything you've learned in your mission so far to work on kicking these Imperials out of Gallia for good. But Largo makes more sense over here. And we need her to get rid of some mines. If there are no questions... There are three switches total. Let's clear the way. Squad <laughs> 7, move out! Are you talking about thermal expansion? <laughs> it just reminds me of that scene in Evangelion where, like, Shinji pops wood and he's like, Thermal ex expansion? How embarrassing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. There's another one. To me. Mm, I'm sorry, sir. Your life is forfeit. Thank you for choosing Bunny and Sons. You have been eviscerated from this reality. Goodbye forever. Alright, we need to get Larg Ho up there. Bunny Corp. I am not incorporated into anything. I don't even really want to go back to work for any kind of company at this point, but it's a grim reality we all must deal with at some point, I suppose. Yeah. I used a shock trooper last time. And that guy's an idiot. Damn. That thing really wipes out the HP fast. So... Let's get rid of him. You're done. All right. That guy has lost his fucking mind. I think he always was just like a whiny little bitch boy. But because he was hiding under the mythos of himself that he so carefully crafted over so many years and had so many other people's like fucking heads in the mud about how he actually is and like maybe now he's just doing a swift overcorrection it's like well if you can't fucking okay that's the first switch down gaslight everyone into believing your lies it's time to just fucking be a fucking grade a asshole hard to say Yeah, he's a grade-A pizza. Pizza shit. I guess I could move my tank up. It's seeming like something I probably will need to do. I just hate that the tank uses two fucking action points. It makes me upsetty. I can't see where they're firing from. 
There's probably nothing I can hit from here. I could swear though, it shows an enemy like to the right of the flag, but they're probably mildly protected by that switch. I think there's one over here too. Yeah, why not? Let's see what happens. We were fated to miss from the beginning. He definitely can't move anymore. She cannot. She can barely move, but... I think we'll take our engineer up. And then we'll be all set with this turn. I just can't fathom how people act anymore. I feel like it, you used to actually like have to endure like societal negativity when you were acting like a fucking clown. But it's just not the case anymore really like uh, I really don't want to move her again. But I don't know if there's reinforcements coming out of there. It shouldn't matter much, because Rosie should pick him off. Eh, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, it's honestly not shocking. It's kind of like what I was saying yesterday. We live in a world where you can retreat fairly deeply into whatever you want. Like, you could re retreat into your relationship and only focus on, you know, making that the best thing it can be, which, you know, that's a positive way to retreat into certain things in your life. But, I mean, you could also retreat into drugs or move into being a womanizer. There's all kinds of ways to essentially be a new different kind of piece of shit. You can be anything you want, honestly, as long as you have the ability to gaslight yourself into it or actually achieve it. It's an interesting world we live in, to say the very least. We, have to take we can get rid of this piece of shit, I guess. Okay. That's what pretty much wiped out our HP last time. What to do? I think I just need to wipe that thing out. Because if I take my engineer up there without getting rid of this... Uh, she's gonna get shot to death. Alright! Man 
down. Everybody be careful. Yeah, I kind of wanted him over here more, but... Because I know there's another tank, like, right over somewhere in this area. There's a shock trooper in there. Ugh. So many enemies. I'm not even quite sure how I would get down into that now. trench. Thankfully you are standing, so we should be able to take you from this plane of existence. With very minimal effort. Oh, there's a ladder there. I guess you can go around and sabotage all this stuff if you want. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's get rid of mines time. I don't think she got shot at by tanks the last time I ran her over there, so we should probably be okay-ish. Okay, adjacent. They're behind us. Push them back. Still not there yet. All units prepare to intercept. I know you're back there. Get out here. How much more blood needs to be spilled? All the blood. Want your back out there. Are you still on route? Please continue your advance. Open Great. That's two switches. Just one left to go. So we got two of the switches. We've got everything moving over to this side. I don't need to summon anyone here. Uh, it's kind of silly of me not to take that flag, though. And plus, we can just run her over here, I guess. So. Let's do this. She's got full move, so it's silly not to, I guess. And also this way I have a backup shock trooper in the event that I get shot to death by all these bullshit cannons. Tanks can't take flags, so I guess that's a good thing. <clears throat> yeah, women commit crime too, I guess, so... It's so weird to me that that's still, like, a thing that people are intrigued or concerned by, is, like, the gender of the... of the character in the fictional, you know, video game or TV show or... People just start salivating and fucking going a little cray cray.
Lovely. Oh, we're gonna murder you with a sh freaking mortar or whatever that thing is. They Marketing companies almost never use in-game footage, and there's always, like, a disclaimer written in tiny words at the bottom of every piece of marketing that's like, marketing is a deceptive practice where we lie to you and try to sell you a bunch of crap that you probably don't need and fuck you, we can do whatever we want. We already bought and paid for your senators, lick our fucking asses, you stupid fucking idiot piece of shit. It's pretty much what all those things Found say. Yeah, aren't you cute? Huh. Say goodbye to your grip on reality, for I have sent your soul into the next dimension. There's another one. I can't tell where they're hidden. Be careful. I guess I can't. That pixel is just too powerful. Hopefully we get lucky and proc a double movement on her. That would be super useful. Try not to leave yourself open. Try to keep a grasp on your surroundings. Once more with field. Fabulous. Ask the universe and sometimes you shall receive. There's no way Largo is going to get all the way around this bullshit, unfortunately. The tank isn't even going to get anywhere near there either. Oh, how I hate gigantic maps and strategy games. Don't get pinned down. Fire back. He only has one bullet too, so that's not going to be super useful for us. They came all this way. And we definitely do not want that tank to be alive, because it'll blow a mortar over here and it'll kill two to three of my people. So... Let's see if we can get our tank around there and waste all our fucking turns. that I can see, necessarily. That I could perhaps hit with a shrap. Shrapino. You know what? Why not? Yeah, I kind of figured that wasn't going to do anything, but... Here we go. Such is life. Now we can use the tank as a bullet blocker sort of situation. Entering combat. Hunter. 
I'll probably just toss a smoke bomb. And then run up Alicia over there, and I think we're set. Great. There's a clear path to the Citadel. Proud warriors of Gallia, I must commend you. You have breached Girlandio's gates. Look up there! The Valkyria! We meet again. It looks like fate is toying with us. You have already defeated me once, as a Valkyria. Still, I have come to fight you again. It's a matter of pride. But this time, I will face you as a woman. This will be our last time, then. One of us is going to die here. Now, we fight! Here are details on the current operation. The way is open. It's time to enter the Citadel and break the enemy's hold upon it. We've confirmed that their forces are being commanded by Selvaria Blee. She was the Valkyria our forces faced on the fields of Nagyar. Take the utmost care when dealing with her. Your objective is her defeat. Take down the Valkyria. She should be stationed on the terrace atop the Citadel. Better still, you'll be surrounded on three sides to begin with. Break through the lifts and stairs located at either side of the entry point, climb to the top, and take her out on a date. She may lack the lance and shield, but she's still a threat. Don't forget, you're dealing with a Valkyria here. It's quite likely she'll evade any head-on attacks. Your challenge will be to sneak around to her butthole, where she'll be unable to dodge what you throw at her. The butthole, every fucking butthole. You gotta take it and you put it in a butthole. Motherfucker. That's the shamrock. What? I think I remember, like, taking a very small team up through the right side to beat this level. I look forward to good news from you. So we're gonna go with that. Take out we'll see if my memories are... Oh my god.
order. All of you, focus on defense. You got it, hon. You ever seen my point of view before? Just leave it to me. I'm feeling extreme. Take this. Are you guys? You got it, hon. You ever seen muscles like these before? Die for me, sweetie. Man down. Everybody be careful. Okay. Think you can stop me? Don't get closer than you need to.
<laughs> it's been some time since I last held a firearm. I've cast aside my lance and shield. I fight you now as a mere mortal soldier. I'm pretty sure. We're under heavy fire from the upper level. Remember to keep tucked away behind cover. I'm pretty sure it doesn't get any better than that, so. Yeah. Me. 
I'm pretty sure that <laughs> tank shell just went straight through her head. Trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these 
And I guess we are trying to flank her. Which makes sense, I guess, but it's stupid that she can guard all fire. Magically saw me, even though you're facing the other direction. Ain't no stopping me. Just leave it to me. I'm feeling extreme. She's just gonna turn around every time I do I'm anything. Not. So that seems a little bullshit. After me, kiddos. Let's see. Just in case she magically ducks again. Just try dodging me. Go down! Woman, I am still a warrior. I will fight on while this heart still beats. I'm on my way now. I'm feeling extreme. I'm on. Complete. Secure the enemy commander. You have defeated me. It's over. I need to ask you. Tell me. How do you live as a Valkyria? How do you deal with the weight of that all the time? I fought because... I loved him. And what drove you to take up the lance? It wasn't voluntary. The truth is, I never became one because I wanted to. And even now, I... I still don't know what to do. It confuses me. It scares me. I see. You bear a heavy burden. Without the aid of purpose. So I was defeated by a girl without commitment to a cause. <laughs> Freeze right there, war witch! Hands up! No funny business! violence. She had surrendered. Watch your mouth, impertinent peasant. She uses evil magic. She's dangerous. The only way I'm comfortable with her is when she's unconscious. 
Please, Lord General. In the name of mercy, I beg you. Mm. All right, then. Out with it. Do with me what you will. I ask only one thing. Spare the lives of the men you've taken captive. Spare them, and let the militia escort them to their fate. Hmm. Good idea. Rats escorting rats. Sounds like a perfect match. Stand up, witch! Uh, uh, uh. I have found... the purpose to justify my life. I don't think there's much chance we'll be meeting again. That said, I'll admit I am curious. When the time comes to make a choice, what cause will your life finally serve? Farewell. <laughs> a glorious victory! Send word to Rangrees immediately! Tell them that Damon has taken Garlandio! easily get used to this. It's my throne for a day! General, you look like you belong there, considering what you've accomplished. Yes. After dealing the final blow to the Empire, I proceeded to capture the Valkyrie alive! Damn that there's more glory to be had than that! Come to think of it, that promotion to Marshal may not be far off! <laughs> General. Yeah? The crew you sent with the prisoners. When did they all leave? Well, now. Let's see. I guess around three hours ago. Excellent. That should be enough time. For what? You're just a bird in a cage now. A cage from which you will never emerge. Have you forgotten yourself, witch? You are the one who has forgotten, General. What? <sighs> Witness the power of the Valkyria's flame. Fed by the dying embers of her own life, it blossoms into Hell's own inferno. Mm. Hey! What are you doing? Shoot her! Ah! You monster! What the? The whole damn citadel's up and erased! No way! Is this part of a Valkyria's power too? Last claimed all of Gaunia's main army. Albania. So this is the purpose of your life? Wilkin! Wilkin! Bad news! Calm yourself down, Hell. What's bigger news than what we just saw? I just got word from Randfries. An emergency dispatch. A massive, unidentified weapon is barreling through Cloten en route to Randbreeze now. What? Are you serious?
in Wildwood is but a tender flower patch before the Marmota. Your Grace, a massive explosion was reported at the Citadel at Girlandio, sir. Our rear guard and Galia's primary force were both caught in the blast and obliterated. I see. Then Selvaria has performed her duty. Now nothing remains to stay our hand. Continue the march to the Gallian capital. The Empire's ultimate weapon passed unhindered through the thick of Cloden's woods, set to be impenetrable to all but bird and beast, and continued its juggernaut march north towards the gates of Castle Randgreeze, Leaving the former site of the Citadel at Girlendio behind, the militia raced to the capital's southern gates to intercept it. Everyone! We've received intelligence on the weapon coming through Cloden's forest. The report identifies it as one of their most tightly guarded development projects. It closely matches plans for a terrestrial dreadnought, Marmota. It's heavily armored and carries a host of large caliber cannons. A battleship on legs. Leave it to the imps. It's one ridiculous tank after the other for these people. Furthermore, it is likely that Maximilian is aboard the Marmota in person. Are you serious? How do you get there so quickly? Regardless, we need to stop that thing, or the capital will be in danger. Oh sure, just gotta stop it. It's a battleship, boss! How are we gonna stop it? We'll be cooperating with the Randgreeze Royal Guard in effecting Operation Maiden's Shield. Our job is to lure the Marmota into a canyon the guard has lined with mines. Beyond the mines, they'll be concentrating all of their firepower to stop it. Leading it into a minefield, huh? So we're the bait. Unfortunately, yes. With Galia's army vaporized, this plan is our only real option. Once they get out on open land, there's no stopping them. It has to happen in that gully. Vulcan. Alicia, what's wrong? You look kind of down. It's nothing. I'm fine. Now let's go beat us up a battleship. Alicia. Highness, the Empire's dreadnought approaches at great speed. Thank you. The Royal Guard and Militia were deployed in a tandem operation, but the outlook is grim. We understand. We shall join them on the field. Fetch here the Royal Armaments and tell the Castle Guard to assemble outside. Your Highness, where do you intend to go? I cannot idly sit atop a throne while the nation crumbles around me. It is the office of the Archduke's duty to fight for the safety of its people. Ah, yes. But that would be inconvenient, Highness. I ask you, make no foolish choices. Borg, what is the meaning of this? You are a precious bargaining chip, alive. It would not do to allow you simply to leave. Bargaining chip? You plan to sell our nation to the Empire, then? Perish the thought, dear princess. Galia is about to be reborn a new child as a glorious kingdom with me as its king. <laughs> We're about to commence Operation Maiden's Shield together with the Randgree's Royal Guard. Squad 7 will begin the operation from this position. The Marmota will approach from the north end of the area, advancing southward at every turn. You'll head along this route, trying to direct its path. Your mission is to lead it to this location, where the Randgreeze Royal Guard and a field full of mines await it. 
I repeat, your objective is to lure the tank over there. Anyone or anything caught in the path of its advance will be out instantly. You have no chance to call for a medic. Plan your tactics carefully. I know you can do this, Lieutenant. allowing them into the capital. That must be avoided at any cost. Good luck. We have to divert that monster away from the capital. Squad 7, move out! So that's it, huh? They weren't kidding with that battleship stuff. Remember, our mission's just to lead it along. Avoid combat where you can. And don't forget to keep your distance. Get run over by that thing and it's all over. ...from the capital. Squad 7, move out! So that's it, huh? They weren't... Leave it to me. Entering combat!
Lieutenant, explosives have been installed next to the gully walls. Detonate them with a gunshot. They'll cause a rock slide that may slow the enemy down. But won't the person setting them off also get caught in the rock slide? They're shock-sensitive time bombs. Once you arm them with a shot, there's still time. Shoot them, then pull out before they go off. Their range is wide, though, so be careful. Leave it to me. Entering combat! in front of the rock slide great it worked that should buy us some time leave it to me Entering 
combat. Turn, okay? fast. Everybody, stay sharp out there! Sir, there's a fork in the gully. The straight path leads away from our target. We need to make them turn. In that case, why not use the explosives on the straight path to block it with debris. Right, good plan. Let's give it a try.
to me. Okay? Confirmed. Looks like we made him turn. Okay, let's keep guiding that thing home. Entering combat.
work. Let's block their course with a rock slide like before. We're not far from the Royal Guard's minefield now. Hang in there, Sevens. Operation complete. We managed to lead the Dreadnought here. and cannonballs on that thing and it ain't flinching and now it's pretty much clear of the gully well boss what's your plan <sighs> no wonder of nature up your sleeve to fix this one lieutenant hey that a person out there what are they thinking what that's alicia she's going to attack that thing all by herself that's insane what does she think she can do against that juggernaut? Alicia! Wait a minute! Where are you going? Forgive me, Wilkin. I shouldn't have just left. Not without saying goodbye. I've been thinking this whole time, Wilkin. Wondering why I was born like I am. A Valkyria. If only I weren't a Valkyria, things would be just like they were before, wouldn't they? But no. That is one way. But I have found another. I know how I can give my life as a Valkyria meaning. I can use my power. I can stop this thing. I'll stoke my life fire into a blaze. I'll save you. I'll save Brule, my friends, and everyone else in Galia. She wouldn't! Fool! What does she think to do? Sacrifice herself and take the Marmota down with her? Fine. 45 degrees to port! All ahead full! Now! <laughs> Alicia! Welkin! Why are you here? Leave! I'm destroying the Marmota. Only I can do it! I'm one life. My death could save a whole country! Alicia, you're wrong. You could destroy them with your power. But that's not real victory. Real victory is something we must claim for ourselves without relying on your power. I can't. 
Welkin, I can't. Valkyrian blood runs in my veins. I'm not human like you are. You're right. It's true that you have powers that we don't have. But so what? You're still yourself, Alicia. Kind. Bright. A future baker. Alicia, has any of that changed? Uh, you may be Valkyria, but you're still the same girl. Well, can I? You mean so much to me, Alicia. I will not let you come to harm. I will protect you. Alicia, I love you. Welcome. Alicia, once this war is finished, will you be with me? I would be with you, together, always. Yes, always. Alicia. Ooh, you're making me blush over here. But, uh, you sure that's wise? You know, this being a combat zone and all. Uh, hey! Just look at the happy couple. And I get the big scoop. That is, I would if it were anyone else. But for you two, well, I'll keep my big mouth shut. Just this once, you hear? Alicia, welcome back. Thank you. All of you. I missed you so. Um, you dropped this, boss. <laughs> so, welcome. We'll hear your orders. We go to hunt the Marmota. We'll head straight for Rangrees. All right, everyone. Let's get moving. Sir, we're almost to the Great Vassal Bridge. Good. Once we cross that, Rangrees is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Ugh! The enemy is deployed, blocking the bridge! Those tanks are... That's Jaeger's battalion. Just our luck, it's him. of you to join us, my militia friends. Nothing personal, but the road ends here. My country, Firald, needs Maximilian support to regain its independence, you see. And if it means getting Firald back, I don't mind playing the man's guard dog. General Jaeger! The Gallians are attacking, sir! Let them attack. We'll show them what the tank brigade's made of. Lieutenant Faldio lands it? Get in. Huh. At least I get a roof over my head. I feel bad for the men on the front lines. I don't get it. How did two squad leaders wind up in a fight? Thought you were friends. No friend could do what I did to him. Now this is supposed to be solitary. Leave me alone, would you? Just don't do anything stupid for the next ten days. Welcome. How do we 
get to thinking about the war so differently from one another. I figured we'd be friends as old men. I still wish that were possible. But I can't deny the feeling that Galia needs power to survive either. I hope we get the chance to talk this out. To talk about the Galia we want as old men. <laughs>